So I have an Elgato Stream Deck which I use to start my programs, like shortcuts in Premiere, stuff like that. But ever since I got it, I wanted to find some ways to make it more useful to me. So when I started playing around with If This and That, which is a really useful piece of software that lets all your smart devices talk to each other, then I really wanted to integrate the Stream Deck with it. But there's no real way to do that out of the box. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Hey guys, David here, and welcome to this video. First of all, I wanna talk a bit more about if this and that. It's been around for a couple of years, but I only just recently started using it and like discovering all its features. What it basically allows you to do is connect all the different services. You can connect your social media accounts with it, you can connect your Philips Hue bulbs with it, you can also connect your phone with it and your smart speakers and your Amazon Alexa or Google or whatever else and many many other services. And then what it lets you do is set up triggers that can be a tweet being sent by someone with a certain hashtag or a button being pressed or whatever else you want and then these triggers they cause a certain action. And that can be from a completely different application. So for example, you send a tweet with a hashtag, hashtag, and then you get a notification on your phone or your light bulbs turn on or whatever you want. It can also be integrated with all your DIY projects, simply by adding Wi-Fi. You can use it with your Raspberry Pi, you can use it with an Arduino if you add a Wi-Fi shield or any other board out there that supports some sort of internet connectivity. But back to the point of this video. What I want to do is use the Stream Deck as a trigger to trigger some other action. Now, natively this isn't supported, but with if this and that, things don't have to be supported. There are many, many workarounds. So what I first did is use the Stream Deck to send out a tweet on a dummy account with a certain hashtag. And then the if this and that will listen for that hashtag from that account. And if that happened, it would trigger it. But this is rather slow as it takes anywhere from like one or two minutes until the whole thing goes through. So I was looking for something a bit faster. So after some digging, I found out that you can very simply trigger an event with a simple line of code in your command line. So then it was pretty easy. I just put that line of code in a batch file and then set the stream deck to execute that batch file. And it worked beautifully. This method only takes a couple of seconds from when I press the button to the notification on the app showing up on my phone, which is really amazing. I will have the line of code that I used in the description down below and you only have to modify it with the private key that you have to put in the end. You're gonna have a link down below where you can find yours and of course you have to give it the trigger name that you wanna use. Then you can go into if this and that and in there create a new applet and use the webhooks app applet. In there, as a tricky, you put in the same name as you put in your line of code, and then you save it and put in whatever you want to do with it. Then you press the button and boom, it works. So I hope you get yours working just as quickly, and why don't you leave a comment if you end up using it, or what do you want to use it for? What do you want to trigger it? You want to turn on your light bulbs, or give me some ideas. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below, and also consider to subscribe. I also have social media links and everything else down in the description, just check it out. Thanks for watching and until next time.